Vlogos, pow! Right, it's time for another unboxing. Now this is uh, something I've been expecting for a while. The whole um, virus shutdown thing had it delayed and some of the bits in it were delayed as a result. So um, let's get cracking. Right. Very well packed. Oh, and oh, geez, this is in a really big box, and it comes with a postcard as well. There we go. Ah, oh. ah, oh. Darius. Yeah. Nice, nice postcard there. So this is the Cosmic Collection Arcade and Console Edition from Strictly Limited. Okay, let's uh, have a look what's inside. So it comes in this very nice oh, sealed box. A couple of little things to cut through there. There we go. What's inside? Oh, another box. What a surprise! A box in a box. Oh, geez, that's quite. Quite substantial. Something else. In here, underneath. Right, so let's move these small bits of cardboard out of the way. Oh, we have some stickers, which oh, I'm never going to use them because I want to keep them all nice and pristine. Because I'm sad like that. We have some a couple of arcade marquee stickers as well. One for the original Darius, one for Darius 2. Let's get them in frame properly really nice. Underneath that we have this Darius Gaiden marquee, quite a bit bigger than the other one. Underneath that there's a hardback book, so let's get that out and have a look. Oh, Darius Odyssey International Version. Oh, artwork from the games. Some text in English, that would be worth reading. Design works, that's nice. I like the, uh, the artwork, the, oh, just went past it. the beginning of the box artwork. This brings to mind you, you've even got the European Master System artwork for Sagaya there. That's fantastic. Okay. Right, so here is the actual game. A nice slip case. Some nice, nice artwork down the spine. Here you can see all your favourite big RC monsters there. Right. That slips off. Does that slip? Oh, I see. Okay. Right, and then inside we have a couple of pin badges. Darius and Sagaya, lovely. What's that? Peel me off. Oh, these are coasters, I think. Oh, wow. Look at that. The Darius artwork coasters. Oh, I've got some CDs. So this I downloaded on iTunes a few years ago. A very good soundtrack. Nice to have an original physical copy of it. Various Omnibus Generations. Yeah, I'm familiar with this one. I'll say, downloaded on iTunes a couple of years ago. And uh, the Omnibus, Omnibus 2 Union. I'm not sure. Haven't heard this one, so that'll be interesting. And then in the bottom here we have oh, there's another pin. One specifically for the Cosmic Collection. Oh, that's nice. We have the actual games. So we've got the console collection 
which we'll have a look at in a moment and also the arcade collection which again we'll have a look at in a moment so yes that is a substantial box set there uh, a lot of uh, very very nice Darius bits and pieces to uh, add to the uh, Darius collection that I already have um, so let's have a look at the actual games a quick run through them and uh, see what we think of them so here's the first of the games this is the arcade collection so this is uh, at the very base level uh, three games from the uh, Darius series these are the arcade games of which uh, there, there is more than three but I'll, I'll go to that come to that at the end of the episode but this is the three main ones which uh, were released in the arcades back in the day as they say so first off we actually have the original Darius now there's three versions on here there's the old version the new version and the extra version the main difference here is the old version was just the uh, basic version of the uh, of the game, um, which is the, the standard version. And then this new version, which has uh, slightly tweaked difficulty levels, um, and then there's the extra version, which has got more balanced difficulty levels and seems to be the best way to play. So that, that'll be the version I'm playing. So let's go on to that. Um, you've got a normal mode and a training mode come to the training mode in a bit i want to talk about the uh this game first and we'll come back to the training mode a little bit later so where well, you've got your normal settings here you've got uh different screen modes so you can fit it to the screen because um darius was that three screen monster in the arcades so it's a very very wide screen display um so you can fit it to the screen like so and it looks squished and horrible and not very nice you can have it in its original pixel formation so that it's absolutely pixel perfect but very very small play area but you can have it so it fills bits the screen you know correctly should we say um, and that's definitely the way to play it uh, you've also got a couple of things there on the extras, like you can set the rapid fire to um, different rates and number of shots per second, which is um, nice, I suppose. That's quite good. Oh, and while I'm talking about options, one thing you want to do, at least on the Switch, I'm not sure what it's going to be like on PS4, turn off the vibration, because this is what it's like with the vibration turned on. Yeah, I don't know why that's so intense. Um, I do vaguely remember that the arcade version of the original Darius had vibrating seats while you while you sat and played the game. Um, I don't I don't know how true that was over that back in the uh, video game magazine back in the day, but um, it could be why that vibration is so strong. So, but yeah, definitely turn it off unless you seriously want carpal tunnel syndrome in your wrists or something while you play. Uh, but the game itself. Um, is is the defensive way to play the original Darius I must say uh, on a handheld on a switch it looks lovely uh, on a TV it looks lovely if you're on a nice big widescreen it looks lovely you can also add bits and pieces to it so you can put in little um, bits of info to fill up the blank spaces like the uh, the marquee and uh, an indication of when the next zone's coming up uh, also a little uh, boss counter which shows you um, how much uh, of a hit points, how many hit points the uh, box has before it's going to die. It's also got a thing that you can turn on called the Yazooka approach counter. Now if you uh, put that on and you spend too much time destroying the boss, these little cubes will turn up and uh, annihilate you from taking too long. So, you know, that's nice of them. And it's a lovely version of Darius. Uh, I know I briefly spoke about the PC Engine version. I'll come to that a bit later. And of course that new Mega Drive version and Mega Drive Mini. Both excellent versions, but really this is going to be the best way to play it. Um, absolutely cracking. A really, really good version of it. Right, so next on the uh, compilation we have uh, Darius 2. Now there's three versions of Darius 2 on here. There is Darius 2. There is uh, Sagaya and uh, an extra version of Sagaya. So we'll just jump in normally with the uh, standard version of Darius 2. 
this it was a two screen arcade game so the resolution is a bit more suited to uh, being on a, um, uh, a monitor uh, sorry a modern television should I say uh, so that it looks a bit better like that um, it's also got probably the best music I'd say from all the Darius games I really love the music for this yeah, you've got the same options as uh, the previous Darius games, so the little information bits and pieces, which are really, really good. Uh, so you the next zone and the, and the boss health level. Now, I did mention earlier, I was going to mention the um, training mode. Now, that would allow you to pick um, the power of the... Um, weaponry and the starting stage as well so this is going on to Sagaya now Sagaya is uh, I always thought it was just a different name for the same game it's not Sagaya has got shorter levels the graphics are different it's almost like they were uh, wanted to get away from the <laughs> fishy element of Darius but um, oh, it's a bit strange because you start on this this like beach level and rather than the surface of the Sun and yeah, the levels are very, very short, but then the bosses are the same same bosses, so uh, very, very odd. Uh, you've also got a second version of Sagaya on here as well, which uh, also has a uh, different opening level, which are a bit more like the original, but it's um, like a post-apocalyptic level. It's worth noting that while the, both the versions of Sagaya are, um, have got shorter levels, they've also got less choice in levels. At the end of um, uh, any Darius game you get a choice to go to the next level but there seems to be less choices on the Sagaya over Darius 2 which is odd again it seems to be cut back quite a lot. Maybe they thought that Western audiences didn't have the attention span to play through uh, I don't know, the full amount of levels to get to one of the branching endings on the game but um, bit unusual. Uh, a nice curiosity to have the two Sagaya games but um, you're going to be better off, better off playing actually Darius 2. It's worth noting also that uh, you've got a really mean auto fire on Darius 2. It really does wipe through the bad guys especially if you're using the training mode and uh, you have fully powered up weapons. So the third game and last game on uh, the first collection is Darius uh, Gaiden, uh, which was a few years later, I think it was 1994, 1995 this was released, whereas uh, the previous games were very much late 80s. And this is a single screen game rather than any multiple monitor trickery. And this is fantastic, this is a great game. I've played this so much on the Saturn, cracking version on the Saturn, and this is cracking version as well it's obviously it's going to be arcade perfect and the music on this is absolutely fantastic you really really cannot go wrong with the music on this uh, you've got the same options you have with the other games with uh, various screen modes and that but being a 4x3 game in the first place you don't have to worry about that quite so much you've also got the nice little um, data things at the side of the screen which uh, you can customise and drop in and out if you want them. I quite like them so I've left them in here and this is really good. I'm really hard pressed to uh, pick which Darius game I prefer. This is more of a sequel to the original Darius than Darius 2 was if you ask me. Some of the uh, ways the uh, power-ups work and the uh, ship formations are more in common with the original Darius and it is very good. Yes, I really can't make my mind up which is the best. I like all three of them for different reasons. But uh, thankfully you don't really have to make that decision because they're all on the same cartridge. Worth noting in uh, Darius Gaiden, you can actually capture some of the alien ships. Like uh, there's a mid-level boss on most stages where you can actually destroy an orb and it'll uh, join you for a short while before it uh, gets too much damage and dies. That was something that later Darius games uh, uh, relied quite heavily on. Right, so if we move along now to the console collection, there's quite a lot more here. 
so you have uh, the Mega Drive version of Darius 2 and Sagaya, uh, essentially the same game. Uh, it does. It, there's no real difference between the two, apart from the uh, some of the, the difficulty level and some of the cheats were removed for the Western market. You've also got the Master System version of Sagaya, which is brilliant. I love the fact that that's included on here because it is such. A, it was only released in Europe. So it's amazing that that's on there. So, so for Master System fans outside of Europe, you know, you can you can play this legitimately. It, it, this is brilliant. You've got the two Super Famicom or Super Nintendo Darius games. That's Darius Twin and Darius Force. And you've also got two PC Engine games. So I'll quickly just run through those. So um, Darius on the Mega Drive. It's a cut down version of uh, the arcade game nothing really wrong with it however I did find after coming after coming on straight from playing the original arcade version Mega Drive version didn't look too too appealing to be honest it's a very very good version don't get me wrong but do you need it if you've already just been playing the arcade version I'm not sure you decide for yourself um, Sagaya as I say, Sagai on the Mega Drive is, is the same game, but with uh, slightly tweaked difficulty and cheats removed. Now, the Master System version of uh, Sagaya, wow, <laughs> it's really surprising. This runs so well on an 8-bit machine. It's got little bits of parallax scrolling in the background. All the aliens are there. The bosses are there, albeit just slightly smaller. Um, but it is... It, it, it's, it's amazing that, that, that this even exists it, and I'd actually play this over the Mega Drive version at the moment because it does it does it slightly differently and it's always a little marvel that you can play something like this on a Master System it's absolutely bizarre isn't it but very very good version of the game um, definitely worth, a, worth some of your time uh, moving on Darius Twin Darius Twin is nice. Darius Twin is that friend that always buys the beer or brings around the snacks. And it's really nice and, and easy going, sort of. But ultimately, absolutely dull. It's, it's hard not to like it, but it, it is so by the numbers. It's, it's almost irritating how nice it is. And, uh, I, I've, I've played through it a few times on the Super Nintendo back in, uh, in the past, but it's, it's just dull, I'm afraid. Poor T Darius Twin, you're dull. Uh, next up, we have um, Darius Force, uh, aka Supernova in the Western Territories. This is um, mixes things up a bit more. You've got a choice of three ships with different weapon loadouts to try. Um, one interesting thing about this is that you've got, um, as with all Darius games, you've got a bomb button and a, and, a, and a forward fire button. But if you fire them together, you only get half the firepower for each. So if you fire exclusively with the forward shot, it fires powerful forward shots. But if you hold down the bomb button at the same time to get like a sp spread of using both weapons, the forward firepower is decreased. Similarly, if you use just the bombs, the, um, they're more powerful than using them together in conjunction with a forward firepower. So that's a little bit of strategy to it, which is interesting. Um, it's rock hard though. It's absolutely rock hard. If you come into this unprepared, you're going to get your ass handed to you on a silver platter very quickly. Worth a go. More interesting than Darius Twin, that's for sure. If this Darius came was coming to the party, had come uh, a bit leery and a bit pissed up, and then um, I don't know, probably break one of your radiators or something. I don't know. Then you've got the two PC Engine games on here. Uh, first off, um, strangely, first off, I would have put this second on the list, but you've got Darius Alpha, which is a boss rush. It's 16 bosses. Uh, do you take on one after another? You get power ups in between. And that's it. Uh, this was a mail-in game. There were apparently only 800 copies made. So that's yeah, it's interesting in itself. 
but it's um, strangely addictive. I actually had a, a pretty good go on this. Um, I'm not a big one for boss fights or boss rushes, but hey, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed this, and it's uh, it's good to have it on the compilation because you will never find an original copy of this, and if you do, you're going to be paying stupid money for it. Now I'm just going to skip over the last one, which is Darius Plus. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have covered Darius on the PC Engine uh, fairly recently. It's being on the PC Engine uh, Mini. This is the cartridge version rather than the CD version that's on the PC Engine Mini. And as a result, it's, it's cut down. It's only uh, half the levels that the CD version had. Having said that, I do think it's slightly easier, but uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's good. Take it or leave it, but it, it's not essential. Um, it's the PC Engine version again. Um, to be honest, if you're going to play this version, play on a PC Engine Mini or play the Mega Drive Mini version, which is uh, an excellent version of pretty much the same game. So there was the two Darius Cosmic Collection. Pretty good. I like the arcade collection. That's really good, really comprehensive. For an arcade buff like me, that's pretty essential. The console one, I don't think is quite as essential. It's nice to have if you're a Darius fan. I do have all of them bar Darius Alpha anyway on the consoles. Um, it'd be nice um, if there's some easter eggs which are unlockable. Uh, the uh, Game Boy version of Sagaya for example, that would be nice if that was on here. Um, what would be really cool uh, <laughs> would be the absolutely abysmal Amiga version if that was on here. <laughs> That's far too much to ask for. That was absolutely shocking. So yes, in conclusion I'd say go for the arcade version. Um, console version maybe the package of it as a whole for a Darius fan is fantastic. The CDs, the extra bits and pieces, those things like that, they're absolutely brilliant. So they're well worth um, your time. So if you've enjoyed this, um, please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on social media, buy me a Ko-Fi or coffee or whatever they call it. I'm also on Patreon. Now I've got my password sorted out. Links are in the description, and um, I'll see you next week where I'll get back to um, playing something and swearing at it, probably. Bye! Yeah, subscribe, or naff off!